Hey everybody, it's Gunny here again, the Oya G from Orochinagi. Hey, that rhymes. Today I'm going to talk to you about Chris, the Halloween Gate Crash of Chris, and uh, also why you should not upgrade, upgrade him straight away. Stay with me, you will see the method behind the madness, let me explain. So first of all, let's look at the actual character himself. I got him luckily on stream with an interesting bit of uh, musical luck uh, as we were summoning, but let's look at his skill. So first of all, his skill one is called Scramble Dash, and it will inflict damage equal to six minutes, blah, 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 blah. But the important thing is he gets super armor for two seconds when using it. So it will be good for going through stuff when they're trying to attack you with their own counter and so forth. It will also, and especially, not just super armor, but he will get a decrease of damage by 55%. So even when they do stuff like, oh, you know, passive passive counters, or like when they're, when they're attacking you like Ms. Big, you attack her and then she does her hyper armor thing, you can take that damage, or at least you can take a bit more of it than the average person. And of course, this also is another one of those actual passive attacks. So you can block, and then you can hit that button and he will do his skill one. So that's really nice and makes for a very crazy game. All right, well, there we go, fine. And that was skill two. I didn't even talk about skill one, sorry. Skill one is his um, uh, kind of upwards diving, jumping up for then diving down kick, which is a bit flimsy in PvP. Sometimes it doesn't connect, they roll out and you're completely vulnerable. So it's not great, but remember that we can cancel these moves. So we'll, we'll have a little play around with it in a second. But the most important thing about the skill one is that it will give darkness. And of course, if you're doing the um, if you're doing the guild raid or the immortal um, Nyx, you need this skill. If you don't have Psyche and if you don't have Lady Geese, you need this guy. So you've got to go for him. Right, and of course right now it's 1% extra chance out of the 3% to get him. So you definitely want to go for it. Now the skill free, very strange order, but the skill free are his projectiles. You might have seen them already, um, but if they touch you, they will petrify you. You cannot block it, you will get petrified. And if you get petrified, you get a decrease of 20% and that's it. Bang, so then he's going to smash you for a lot more damage if he hasn't already used the other skills. Let's go see these in action, shall we? Um, oh, but just to mention, yeah, the super is super, blah, blah, blah. But his striker skill, you can use him as a striker, like you can use Lady Geese, to hit opponents with darkness. So, you know, if you don't have anyone particularly strong, or rather, if you have someone particularly strong and you'd rather use Chris as a striker, you can do that. And remember, I, I really recommend do not power him up. Do not level him up right now. If you get him, you know this roulette, he's on the roulette right now. Don't do it, and I'm going to explain to you why in a second. Let's just quickly play around. I've got to make this video a little bit, uh, not long, but under, you know, under, 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 around eight minutes, and then we we'll stop. So I'm going to bring in Chris now, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with skill two, and then go to skill one. That feels like a more intelligent thing to do. Let's do Did anyone actually see what happened there? Does it matter? And as you can see there, taking the hits. And that's the move that, that is a bit wonky. It's a bit wonky because sometimes it doesn't all hit. Now I'm going to send in my fireballs this time. Let's see that petrify. No, okay, no petrify. Fine. Just beat them up instead. Okay, maybe the, let's see what happens with the boss. Ah, Chanfei. Let's see. Are you going to get petrified? You'll actually know I'm going to go back. I'm going to show you the, the speed of these two fires because it's two projectiles. And there we go, there's a Petrify, which means I can do that. And then combo. Yeah, it's nice. I'll let my skills come back, thank you very much. But you see they have two two projectiles at different speeds, so it's very, very hard to block. And you can see I can take the licks. Wrong button. I can take the licks and it's okay. Oh, you got me, buddy. But you seem to be bleed, bleeding to... Is that darkness? Wow. Ah, oh, I wanted to do the super, but I'm... Yeah, she's toast. Let's do it over here. <laughs> Don't hit anything. Oh, there we go. Too late. Sorry, I wanted to do the super, but whatever. Right. Yes, I enjoyed that as well. So there we are. Okay. Now, you got a general idea. He's pretty good. Um, but, you know... To be honest, I'm not sure the moves are that quick. <laughs> also notice as well, if you put him into the dungeon rush, he is a 4% uh, 
uh, 4% character, he will get you the most amount of coins. He's actually fantastic. But remember that it's based on his level. And again, I would recommend do not touch him. Do not touch him. I'll tell you why now. Now I'm going to tell you why. See, so look, 4% for Alice, 4% for Chris. The rest are 2%, right? Don't do it, in my opinion. And also the new, the new card games here as well. The new card games. The new card sets here. Uh, so you, again, you've got to level them up. It depends on the grade. So you've got to level them up to get the maximum from these cards. And then it'll mean your grinding is a lot easier because you'll get more stuff. Now, I'm going to explain why. So as you know, he's on the roulette. And I'm going to give it a spin now. Why not? Okay, let's give it a spin. See what we can get. I've got, I've got, I've got four tickets. But really, I'm going to... This is really nice. Some of the roulette stuff is very, very nice. All of it is really nice, actually. You've got all-star souls. You've got these which are capsules, we all need capsules, very, very nice. You could go for bingo for that, but I don't recommend it. I recommend going for bingo for ones or twos, whatever comes to your way first, like ones. But of course, they're gonna, they're gonna just give me the boxes, aren't they? Yeah, of course. They know that I'm streaming, they know, they know, so they're just gonna do that for me. Yeah, fine, fine. Let's be like that, come on. Oh, another box. Come on, come on, are you serious? Oh, you're serious, aren't you? Yeah, you might end up spending some rubies, I know I do. Jeez. Wow. Oh, thank you. <laughs> du -du -du -du. Right, 200% bonus. Very nice. So, if we go over to craft, we notice that we can craft his, uh, his card, but you can craft him. And that's going to take 200 souls. Remember that at this point, we've still got, you know, a week or more, right? Uh, the roulette, in fact, the roulette, 13 days. So basically two weeks, it's still good. This is not going to close or anything. It's 13 days from now, it will be here, right? So that's good. And also, of course, uh, but the other thing is, right? Right, hold on. Um, so that's roulette. You do the roulette, get all these lovely souls. But you can also... Uh, not press that button. You press. I'm having a brain freeze. Okay, not a problem. Go to battle. Special match. And Soul Quest. And I think I've spent it already. But the point is, if you go to Soul Quest, you're actually getting more souls from this. So you do the Soul Quest every day without fail. And you should get enough to get one, at least one memory if you haven't already got him. Uh, of course, I can't guarantee that, but, you know, with a bit of roulette, a bit, bit of luck, you could possibly get two memories from roulette. And, of course, you can extend your roulette tries with rubies. And, of course, you could summon and also be lucky. Um, yeah, good luck. Um, but, yeah, the point is, yeah, don't level him up. Because if you level him up, you're using the souls, and they, they, there goes your chance of crafting. So don't level them up. And this works for all the roulette characters when they turn up usually, <laughs> unless they plot something else, but that's it. So those are my tips for Chris and the roulette um, and the rush dungeon. Just to, just to mention that again, you should be rushing, doing the rush dungeon. Don't forget that you have the shop open and it's going to give you six, uh, five, five capsules every day. I recommend getting the five capsules every day and two hammers. And if you're really feeling greedy, get the purple soul as well. And that's going to need, or well, from now, quite a lot of coins and I'm at least 10k right so if you have a good team for your Halloween shop upgrade them so that you get as many points as possible and that includes the new card sets and the Orochi option set as well so good luck to everyone I hope you can do that and I hope that was useful but right, that's enough ranting for me nicely under 10 minutes so we're good to go all right so thanks everyone for tuning in we'll see you all next time I will leave notes on the Rochi Nagi website. Go check it out and check out the t-shirt shop as well. Sorry, sorry. Thank you. Subscribe, like. Uh -huh.